and beauty Whirl. welcome back to my channel sorry i've not had any videos up lately i had a bad case of covid and then um i was opening my new training academy so i've been a little bit busy anyway to start with as normal disclaimer i am not associated with jelly feek in any way shape or form anything i have to say is my opinion and my descriptions um, I'm not paid to say anything and um, this is literally just me doing this because I can right you all know that I do these on on prep tips so I've just got some tips ready and these these beauties that are a bit dirty you now because I've had them on for a couple of days are the full full tips that you put on with the uh, the gel and I've had them on a couple of days now I've just got to uh just got to paint them and I must say this is my second set of gel tips and my first ones I had on for four weeks and literally they didn't budge so they were quite long because I'd backfilled them three times before I removed them so yeah and they were this length to start with and my nails were great when I took them off except this one that one's grown underneath there that one's grown because it had broke quite far back. So I'm actually happy because I've got some nice, strong, nice nails going on underneath my gel tips. So anyway, back to it. What do we have today? Well, we've got Cool Blue. And this is in an 8ml bottle. And then the 15ml, let's have a look. We've got It's a Boy. Then we have, oops nightshade and my little numbers come off oops i need that otherwise i'll never find it in my color book again excuse me stick that on there right now midnight one that's been renamed um deep ocean so midnight one is deep ocean and then we have stardust ultramarine admiral right these are all the blues that i've got in this selection i do have a few more blues that i got oh a while back so as i've promised you oh, time and time again i will get around to it i will do a gray a red a blue the pinks i will try and do a compilation video probably take like three hours to get them all done but hey ho i will do the comparison video for you so let's get started with uh, these so let's just move these out of the way because we all know by now sue's gonna knock everything all over the place because she shakes so working in the salon today it's my salon is um temperature at 16.5 according to my little monitor so it's it says that that is the optimum working condition <laughs> my body disagrees so let's show you uh, this where are you see i keep having to stand up to do this so you can set a nice blue within that bottle so we shall see how cool blue pops right just bear with me one second all right let's try that again ah, come away to get some peace and everybody wants a piece of you right am i in the center not enough right so thin thin coat well that's very pale well, it does say cool blue, but it, it is an ultra thin coat that. Right, so I need more on my brush because it's a diddy little brush in a diddy little bottle and a big tip. So I'm only going to put this on ultra thin 
as I always do. Let's see if I can get all the sides. This time I've noticed watching back some of my videos when I'm editing them. I often miss like the sides, so I'm clever at that. Right. So let's pop that one in. Now these cure for 30 seconds in an LED lamp and 60 seconds in a UV lamp. The lamps I'm using are the Jelly Feet Professional um, lamps and I'm, I'm lucky enough to have two so I can use, can really work doubly quick but I, I get confused and I get lost. So I've stopped doing that now because I do that on my clients and I'm like, oh, poo, where am I up to? So it's a good job that my clients actually sort of know <laughs> what I'm, what, where, where they are now. So that's the first, but that's the first coat cured. So we'll go on with a second coat. See, I've started fastening these bottles because I started knocking them over, but now I'm just getting a pain in the bum. Can't be doing with myself. Right, so on with the second coat. And I suppose if you wanted this a little bit darker, you'd just go on with a, a third. Very thin coat. Because when I put that on quite thick there, see there? That's a lovely colour. But let's drag it down. And get this puppy moving. So I hope this video finds you all well. And that you getting on with work and you know it's all treating you good so i've been so busy it's been unreal right i will be topping these with the um armor tucker excuse the the state of this bottle it's coming to the end of its little life um so we've been very very busy in the salon itself so, yes, all fun, all fun. Right, so that is cool blue. Now that's just with two coats. So as I say, you can go on with a third, but once you've got a natural nail under there, or you've got the base of one of your builder gels, then obviously that is going to change the colour of that a little wee bit. Um... That's just on, obviously, these cheap tips. You know, the kind, two, two million for a pound from China. They're great for this sort of job. Right, so we're going on with a cool, um, it's a boy. So let's bring that up. Oh, look how pale and gorgeous that is. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, lovely jubbly. Let's see what this goes on. So let's balance myself, stop the shakes a little bit. Oh, that's a lovely creamy consistency. Oh, you can feel it going down lovely and smooth. Let me just get that on. I'm, I'm watching for my corners. Right, and then just drag that down. Because these only need to be thin, thin coats. And then you're not bulking up your nails anyway, as you would all know by now. The less bulk, the happier the client. Bulky nails are, are not in now. So no big speed bumps, no need for them. Definitely no flat nails, but a nice C curve. Right, so I've got all of that. It looks like I have. It look it, well, it's only a tip, isn't it? And that's what I'm gonna say about these um the these tips. Right, because these are, um, oh, let's get the box from here. These are the precision quick tips. If you've not seen, I've got a video of how to attach these. Um, one of my friends sat for me. So these come with no pre-action, so you have to pre-etch these underneath so you get the best adhesion. Um, and then you attach it with the gel. So you pour 
the normal base coat on your finger and cure that for 30 seconds and then you put the rubber base coat on the tip and try and get it to where it doesn't come over the nail otherwise once you've sort of partly cured that try and wipe this off with um oh don't know any any sort of alcohol wipe or anything like that just to try and clean up but this is these ones but don't look at the muck under my nails <laughs> because i've been busy but can you see the c curve in them and uh, there you go they, they're, they're beautiful they are absolutely beautiful even the thumbs if i can get that and then if you look down you see that it's got the nice apex in there so you really don't need to build these up once you've buffed down the back near the cuticle to thin that out um then you don't need to do more with them except etch them and paint them these are the other precision tips they do and these are etched so you can see that they're not clear that they are the opaque the frosted that's what we call them frosted nails so these you just go straight in with the base gel on, base coat on your finger and then the rubber base coat onto the tip and attach that. And you can go straight on and paint them. You don't have to etch them like you do these because we know gel doesn't like shiny. Anyway, back to, I, I just love these tips. They're a game changer. Right, so that's the first coat. So a little bit streaky because I've put it on ultra thin, but that's what I do. Right, and in with the second coat. Excuse the little bits that are on here. They're not actually, I haven't got any flakies at the moment. I haven't got no fluffies, but these are like seconds that are sold. So there's always little imperfections, but we just use them for training. Right, so and pop that on. Make that nice and smooth. Cap it. Oh gosh, don't know what. Ah, shakes, pain in the bum. Right, let that smooth out for a second. If you want, you can get your client to turn their hand upside down, just for the second, and it'll give it that that moment just to sort of rebalance itself out so see all nice and no streaks that's in for 30 seconds right oh this one's got a sparkle to it what's this nightshade so let's have a look let's have a look and see so it looks very dark there can you see the sparkles i hope so then um they're hollows, they look like little hollow flakes and they look green. But I'll have a look when I put that on the tip. Oh, can't wait, excited. Right, so there is It's a Boy after its two coats. Okay, oh, yeah, put in the shots in. Come on, get your act together, girl. Right, so that's It's a Boy. It's actually a nice blue, that you're doing some nice nail art with that one. If you if you like nail art if you don't you can just do pretty stuff pretty fingers right so let's go on with what did i say this one was nightshade brains like a sieve today well what's new right so i just want to angle it so i can see the little sparkles the little flakes let's see what colors they are you don't really see them much on the first coat, I'm going to be honest. That's probably because it's so thin. So I'll bring it up to the camera in a second and you can have a look. Oh, you can see them. They are green. Right. So I'll bring that up to the camera and let you have a look and see if you can see them. Can you see them there? Let me get up off my bum. Yeah, you can just just see them there and they're spread evenly throughout the nail so that's good 
That makes life a whole lot easier. Saves messing around trying to move the tiny little bit inside the gel. Oh, that's the bane of my life, that one. I hate doing that. Well, hey ho, it's here to test us and test does it will. Right. So how are you all getting on with the jelly feet? Do you like it? Is, you know, is there anything that you're not finding good with it? You having any problems with it or anything? Or have you run into any problems? If you have, stick them in the comments below and I'll see if I can uh, see if I can help you out. Um but as you know, Jelly Feek has its own Facebook site anyway. But if I'm here, I'm here. I say I don't work for them, don't make them, but I use them and I train with their products. So sort of have a little bit of an insight into them. And because I use them, I sort of have like little cheats of making things work a little bit differently than others right so there is your second coat ah, i quite like that one it's nice with this little sparkle oh these numbers these stickers are so rubbish oh right stick that back on there oh, if i lose my stickers then i'll lose them where they are in my books and then my clients go can i have that one i'm like oh i don't know what that one is so Right, so Midnight Zero One, which we now know is o Deep Ocean. Oh, what have I got on that nail? Oh, baby's crisps underneath them and everything. To give them a good clean before I uh, paint them. Right, so anyway. So there is, I've forgotten it again, Nightshade. So I'll bring them all out at the end and I'll show you them at the end when I've got the um, top coat on them all so you'll be able to see. Right, so I'm putting these on the wrong stand. Right, that goes over there. Right, so Midnight 01 or Deep Ocean as it's now been called. I'll bring it up to the camera. Sorry for the clicky noises of my nails. And that, oh, that's a lovely navy blue. Oh, I like that. I like that one a lot. Right. Right, let's see. Oh, look at that. Now, if you work slow on your client's nail, and it wasn't as obviously as big as this big clump, I think you'd get away with one coat with this. Right, so what I find is that the more opaque the colour is sometimes the lights don't cure it as well, and you will get rippling, especially because it's so opaque so what I do is I do it for the 30 seconds and then I do it for 15 seconds afterwards so it has 45 seconds per cure and I find that then that sort of takes out any of the problems that I might find with rippling um, or if I'm really worried about it like charcoal that gives me a bit of a nightmare so that gets 60 seconds in an LED, so it'd be 120 seconds in a UV lamp, because I've now learnt the difference. All right, see? I watched other YouTubers and I learnt the difference. <laughs> right, so that is its first coat, and that's just gorgeous as it is. But here we go, second coat to give it its depth. Oh, it's just beautiful. That is like a gorgeous royal um, navy blue. The tip's a bit wobbly, so I'm scared of it falling off. So still thin coats. No need to waste these products at all. 
I don't know whether I did that. No, probably did that all. I was a shot. So that one, because it's me, I'm going to put on for 60 seconds. I just want to make sure it cures. So while that one's curing, we will go on to Stardust. So, so let's have a look at Stardust. So another nice blue. Not a baby blue, but you'll be able to compare it to baby blue when I put them next to one another. So this is why I do these as well, is so you can see them next to one another. Because if it wasn't labelled, I'd probably think this was baby blue. <laughs> oh, but hey-ho, I will show you the difference. Right, so that's its first coat of stardust. I'm just sort of taking off the excess that I put on there. So that's the first coat. Oh, quite pretty, quite pretty. Right, 30 seconds in there. Right, and there is your deeper ocean. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Oh, mm, yes, I'm liking that. But then again, if you actually watch all these videos back, I don't think there's that many. I go, I don't like that. Or I get new, I get new favorite colors all the time. Or I say, I'm not usually a red person. I'm not usually a green person. Or I'm not usually this person. But Jellyfix seem to change my mind all the time. And I must admit, I've had some really wacky nails over the last weeks. I've been poorly <laughs> with COVID because I had nothing else to do. But I couldn't talk, so I couldn't video. Well, I could have videoed and then voiceovered, I suppose. I didn't think of that, but I was just way too poorly to do anything. So third set of COVID. Thank you very much. So... Oh, better now. Well, as better as I'm going to be. Left a few more little presents behind for me, but not much. Right, so that's it. A second coat of Stardust. So, turn it upside down. Did that without dropping it then. Mmm, impressed. Impressed with myself. Right, pop that in the lamp. For its 30 second cure, what have we got next? Ultra Marine. Let's see what you look like. See, now this looks like another good navy blue. But it's not as dark as the deep ocean or midnight zero one. So let's compare them two together i'm going to try and keep them separate so i can get them right so der is stardust so another pretty little blue and looks nothing like a baby blue it looks more gray over here but you're gonna to have to wait and see you have to wait to the end. Sorry. <laughs> right. Let's go on with... Did I say it was ultramarine? I did. Right. So... Let's have a look how this is going. Right. Once again, absolutely lovely to apply. I do try and push the product as far as I can, you know, to see the coverage and see what I'm getting out of that little bit that I had on me brush. And sometimes I manage to get a good cover and sometimes I don't, depending on the um, size of the nail. Right, that put that in for its 30 second cure. Right, I don't know 
what I did, I think I forgot to press record because I got disturbed. So I've put the second coat on of Ultramarine and I've cured that. And they were very, very thin coats. Very thin. So I wanted to see how far the product would go. Now I know. Now I know. Right. And then the last one for this set is Admiral. Uh, so let's see what beautiful colour Jellyfeek have given us for this. Can you see? It's like it's like a bluey green, I think. But then again, I'm I'm not gonna listen to my eyes anymore. No, yeah. I'm not gonna speak with what my eyes say or anything like that. But it does look like a looks like a bluey green. We'll see. You can make up your own mind. Because I've actually managed to get the video set to where you're seeing this correctly but that is saying well it's going to depend on what you're watching this on because obviously everybody monitor everybody's monitors are all different oh, i've put way 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 too much on there dippy dora oh take that off come on need that much on all right so that's its first coat i'm just going to hang that upside down it's got a little bubble in it or you can pop the little bubble and just smooth it out again right. oh, i think it's a mark on the on the nail tip itself so I did I on my intro I said that I'd be doing crystals and embellishments and simple nail art. I am getting around to it, but I will say I'm scared. I can do very simple things and I have learned a few simple things, but that's why they're not there at the moment because it takes me so long to do it. Right, so there's the first coat of Admiral. So it is like it is like a bluey green. So we'll do the second coat and we'll get that cured. Then I will pop you on pause. I will go away and do all the top coats. And then I can show you the different colours next to one another. And you will actually see that none of the colours are similar in any way, shape or form in this particular lot that I've pulled out for you. Where usually it's like, oh, there's only one drop difference. You know, do you need 52 million reds? Well, actually, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go, I'll show you this one. I'll pop it on pause, come back once I've top coated them all with the armour top coats. They're all nice and shiny. Um, I tell you what I am going to do, and I'll do it on camera um, just for these few seconds, is I am going to go in with another coat of Cool Blue because I really, I just don't like how it looks. It's as simple as that. And that's just because it's on the tip. So that's going to go back in. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. So I'm being a little bit more generous with this one than you've seen me on the other ones. Just because I want a, a thicker, well, a deeper colour. Because that was too patchy. I know we can always see through the tips, but that was just too patchy for me. But anyway, OCD matter over. Wow, that is green. Right, so there is Admiral. Now out of the blues, that's green. So, hmm, I still like it. I still like it. 
Right, so I'm going to hop off and I'll be back in a second when they're all top coated. So don't hold your breath because it'll just be in a blip on this because that's how it's edited. See, I like magic, I'm back. Right, so on this one, we have the cool blue and then we have the it's a boy. Right, and when I said when I pulled out the other blue, that it looked like it's a boy. Looks nothing like it. Right, so we've got from this end. Can we see it? Yes, that one there. That is a nightshade. And then you've got the Midnight O one, which is now Deep Ocean. Then the one that I said looked like Baby Boy. Doesn't. At all. Nope. But that was Stardust. Then this other one that I said was a nice navy blue is not as nice as Deep Ocean. So that is not a navy blue. And that was Ultramarine. And then there's our little green one at the end, which is Admiral. So uh, they are the seven in this little collection that I'm showing you. I hope you've had a good time. <laughs> hope it's been informative. Hope you've had a bit of a laugh. Um, as always, drop your comments below. Hit that like button and subscribe button. And you will be notified when I put these videos up again. Um, on a couple of these, I am going to do some nail art in another video. So Because I quite like these colours, so I'm going to keep them to one side. So you will see that coming up at some point so until i see you again i'll take care and bye